This org has a custom object called vehicle, and here's the Salesforce page layout editor that's been around for over a decade. You can drag fields onto the page and arrange them or mark them required or mark them read only. And that page layout controls the detail component that you see on the page and in App Builder. If you turn on dynamic forms, you'll see a tip to get you started. It's telling us to click on the detail component and then the upgrade now button. There's a wizard to walk through converting the existing page layout into the new fields component and putting existing field sections into an accordion. Besides our new fields and section components wrapped in the accordion, you'll also notice a mobile component. Because dynamic forms aren't available in the mobile app yet, a mobile only details component is added so mobile users can still see the record details. I'm gonna throw all of that away, start from scratch and make the page that we always wish we had. This new tab has sections and all of our fields. We want some really important fields in the most important place on the page. We can set column and field attributes just like you do with the page layout editor. And then we can organize more fields into a separate section. Because this is using App Builder, there's some cool new capabilities like using the visibility filters you already use for components, but at the section or field level. For example, let's say one checkbox should only show up if the other checkbox is checked. Or we could set visibility on an entire section based on the value of the status field. Let's save and see what the end user experiences. Here's the old page. We'll refresh it to get the new one. We're going to change the status and see that delivery info section disappear. And when I enable one checkbox, the other checkbox will appear. And it's not just inline editing. The create and edit screens follow the same visibility filters. So fields appear only when we need them, making your screens cleaner and more intuitive.